Hey posers, Nash here, and today I'm reviewing Gloomy Lights by Gallhammer, an album which stirs together quite a few genres. They threw in some black metal, and some doom metal, and some crust punk. Uh, I like this album quite a lot. Um, the album opener, Endless Nauseous Days, has this um, really fucking creepy vibe to it. The whole album has a creepy vibe to it, but that song especially. And uh, my favorite song is Lost Myself, and uh, it has a really good groove to it. So yeah, this is a really good all-female Japanese metal band. I went to Japan once with my band, Nash Thrashington and the Thrashettes. We were um, a post-slam grind death thrash, um, swinged gent, reggae sludge rap core country metal band with uh, some um, surf rock influence. Um, so we were on tour, and after the show, I had a groupie in my um, hotel room, and uh, she took her clothes off, and she had tentacles all over her body. And uh, I was high as fuck, so I wasn't sure if it was real. So I asked her, and she said that she had, like, an operation to, like, that mixed, like, her DNA with octopus DNA or, like, some shit like that. It's pretty messed up, man. But, uh, you know, I know some people with that fetish, and I, I was willing to try her out, you know. And, uh, uh she... She was perfect. She wrapped those tentacles around me and sucked me off with that lovely octopus beak of hers. For those of you who don't know, octopi have beaks. They don't really look so much like the stereotypical bird beak, though. They look more like, um... The Sarlacc Pit from Star Wars. Um, so yeah, so yeah, like this ed this episode was educational. So yes, yeah, this chicken hour fucking, and um, it was a magical experience. I came at the same time that she inked, and I guess... It was pure pleasure. This album is pretty nice, too. Uh, give it a listen. Um, I know you're going to look up tentacle porn now, so have fun.